Perry. It's time for some meal planning. So this is what I gotta do. I do a setup first. So I gotta get a blank one of these ready with my shopping list connected. And I do seven days of different uh, meals. All right, so I got this all ready. Just got some stickers down here to make it look pretty. This is my meal plan page for my seven meals. This is my grocery section of my shopping list that's gonna go here. So all the meal plans with the grocery list. And then this is the non-food list down here. So like cat food or anything like that goes in there. And now we just get to meal plan. So unfortunately there's a lot of terraria noise. They're playing games out there so it's pretty loud. So I wanted to come back to my bedroom to go over my meal plans and my grocery list with you guys just to kind of show you what my plans are that I went and did. So as you can see I've got seven recipes here and I don't do them all in order so it's not like this is like Mondays, food, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I just like to plan seven days. Uh, sometimes we have leftovers and things like that, so um, obviously they can't go in order. So I just plan seven days worth. Uh, the grocery list over here is literally all the stuff that, that is required for these that I don't have. So this doesn't include anything from my outside freezer or anything else, uh, snack-wise, pantry, kitchen, um, anything that we need to get. That's literally just the stuff from here. And then my non-food list, I'm still in progress. I have to check with the kids to make sure they don't need anything. And that's where all that goes. Um, we're probably going to make at least a Costco run, maybe a Safeway or Walmart today. Um, so let me break down what we're having for, for meals. So one of my meals I planned is a meatballs with gravy. And we're going to serve that over steamed rice with some green beans. Um, at Costco, they have some really good Swedish meatballs. Oh my gosh, they're going to be amazing with that. Just serving it over rice with some sauce and then green beans. Now I'm hoping to get the fresh ones because last time I went, they only had canned stuff. So I was pretty upset about that. Anyways, um, the next on the list is a mushroom and egg bake. And I'm going to pick up some fresh fruit like some melon or some blueberries and I serve that with some bacon. I have a picture actually of this mushroom and egg bake. Uh, these recipes all come from the grandma's kitchen. Uh, stuff. I subscribed to this like 18, 20 years ago or whatever, and I have like the whole collection. So I really like their recipes and I like to try new ones every week. Uh, so this is the mushroom and egg bake. It's almost like a, I don't know, like a quiche kind of a thing without a crust. I don't know. It looks, it looks really good. Uh, the next thing that I planned is uh, Indian grilled chicken with a lentil and feta salad and some rolls. Uh, this chicken has to marinate for 12 hours. It's got some flavors that I don't know if my family is really gonna be okay with, but we're gonna try. Uh, it's got cardamom, ginger, cumin, black pepper, cayenne pepper, that kind of thing, uh, garlic, um, dry mustard, but we're gonna try it. It's like a marinade and then you dump the marinade after the 12 hours and then you grill it. So we're gonna give that a try. So there's the Indian grilled chicken. Uh, same thing can be said with my feta and lentil salad. Um, I don't know how my kids are gonna take this, so I might have to, you know, take down the red onions because there's red onions in here, so maybe just not put as many or something. But it looked interesting, so I wanted to give it a try, and I thought it would pair really good with that um, Indian grilled chicken. So the next thing on my list right here is tangy chicken nuggets with southwestern potatoes and some corn mixed with some thyme. If you guys have never tried thyme and corn, it is amazing. It goes good with thyme and uh, peas. It just makes uh, frozen veggies not taste like frozen veggies. So the only thing about tangy chicken nuggets really is the sauce. It's like an apricot and barbecue. So I don't know if I'm going to do that, but I will definitely do like, um, it's like uh, crushed crackers on the chicken to make it like really crispy. So I'm going to make crispy tangy chicken nuggets. Kids are going to like tonight's dinner because, um, well, not tonight, but this night's dinner, they're going to like it. So it's got chicken nuggets. And then I've got this, which is the Southwestern potatoes. These are almost like potato skins, but you use the whole potato. It's like potato wedges, fancy. Um, I have made this recipe many times, like used it as an appetizer or a snack, or I've used it uh, as a side dish uh, with meatloaf or something else. It's very, 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 very good. Um, the next thing I want to give a, a try is mushroom crostadas, and I'm going to serve that with some uh, asparagus. Now this recipe actually is 
a appetizer, but I'm not going to serve it as an appetizer. I'm just going to make like this mixture right here. And instead of making these little toast cups, I'm going to make toast points. So like halves, halves of uh, toast, half a half a piece of toast. I don't know. I don't know how to say it, but um, make toast points. I'm going to pour the sauce over it and we're going to use that as the main meal and serve that with some asparagus. So hopefully that's good. I have no idea. And I think I'm going to sprinkle some Parmesan cheese or something. So that's one of the meals. Um, another meal that we have listed on here is a tuna and pasta pot pie. And I am going to bake those rolls separately. These are just like those fridge biscuits. I'm going to make the rolls separately because I have found doing this recipe or any recipe that tells me to put them in there, um, the rolls, they tend to get a little bit soggy on the bottom. And I hate I hate soggy bread, so I'm going to make them separate, but there's the tuna and pasta pot pie. And the very last thing on my list for my seven-day meal plans is easy seafood paella with some garlic knots. Um, it's like garlic bread. They're little garlic bread knots. Uh, here is the seafood paella. So it's got clams, and it's got um, shrimp in there, and hopefully it's good. It's got peas and rice, and yes. So that's it. So that is my seven day meal plans. If you guys want to snag my meal plans, you're more than welcome. If you want the recipes, I would be more than happy to give them to you. Um, my family is quite used to this kind of a thing where it's a lot of stuff we've never eaten before and they let me do it. So yeah, we're trying pretty much almost all of these are brand new recipes I've never tried. I think the only one is the um, Southwest potatoes that I've had before. So yeah, cheers to another week. Holy crap holy, my friends. My water heater, we had to turn the water off. No hot water for us for now. Um, my hot water heater, I think, just died. It's leaking like crazy. We went through a bucket in like five minutes uh, when the water was on. Um, it's all over my floor in here. It's a disaster, and that sucks. Like, that sucks. O-M-G, the water. Look at this. My whole freaking garage probably has it. I mean, it's, it's a big old disaster, but that's besides the point. Holy crap, now we have a whole bunch of water. clear out a whole section so we can get into the water heater to get it replaced. This is a nightmare, guys. Well, we were going to go grocery shopping, and now we're going hot water heater shopping because we don't have hot water right now because it blew up in my garage. Big project, going to cost a lot of money, not really happy about it, but I have no choice. So, off we go. Right, homie? Off we go. Hot what? Off we go to go find a new hot water heater. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The hunt for the hot water heater has begun. Okay, this is where we're at right now. The homie and the sons, they took out my old water heater. We currently have buckets catching drips that are happening from up top. We found one, didn't we? We found, found, we found a new one. Oh, found a new water heater? Yeah. yeah, we found a new water heater at Lowe's that I think we're going to get. We just have to find someone who has a truck that can help us out. A little bit worried about the mineral deposits around the inlet. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to have to end up replacing that. It looks like it's all welded, at least back here. Well, so. we might have to get, get a second opinion or something at either Lowe's or just, you know, maybe ask Courtney or something. Yeah, maybe. Um, but yeah, this is this is literally where we stand now. We have a couple buckets catching some some drippy water, and uh, my water tank, my hot water tank, is gone. It's out in my front yard <laughs> by the trash bins. Oh, you're just watching it go down. Yeah, I'm just trying to think if there's anything I can do. I don't know. Can't think of anything. Yeah, so I just wanted to kind of touch bases. Most of the water, thankfully, a lot of it went down and didn't get stuck on our stuff, so that's good. <laughs> Smile, Mr. Homeowner. Yeah, <laughs> fun. <laughs>